know, if there was no Fox News, if there was no other voices, uh, we, ne we never would have known about Al Gore's opinions about uh, climate change during Hurricane Sandy or get an amazing rebuttal from Joe Bastardi on the O'Reilly factor. The storms are getting stronger. The stronger storms are getting more frequent. And, you know, this is the second time in two years that a part of Manhattan has been shut down. Mm -hmm. And, it, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, that didn't used to uh, happen like this. But the evidence is now so overwhelming. That's stunningly ignorant or stunningly deceptive, what Al Gore said. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And ever since he shot his mouth off about Katrina, we've seen total global tropical activity go to record low levels. Just because something happens in your backyard two years in a row, it has nothing to do with the total picture. All right, what he's basically saying, then, from the 50s to the, the 54 to 60, 10 major hurricanes. And so there's actually less hurricane activity than there was now. So uh, linking global warming or climate change to hurricanes is a simplification, possibly dishonest. I want to be fair and balanced, because that's what we do here. I want to run. Uh, uh, O'Reilly also had a climate change expert on trying to uh, <laughs> prove that climate change caused the hurricane. Four things. We have sea level rise caused by climate change that is making storm surges worse. We also have more severe rains and coastal flooding. And three, we have the situation where uh, sea level rise is happening and it's increasing the storm surge. We have warmer ocean waters powering more powerful hurricanes. And four, when it comes to the frequency of hurricanes, scientists still have a lot of questions. Okay, wait a second. So one was sea rising, three was sea rising, causing storm surge, which was number two, and then four, we don't know anything. We don't know. That is the greatest climate change expert I've ever heard. Well, she's greatly affected honest. by the climate change and can't count anymore. That, don't Can I point something out? You two are calling it climate change. That's what the liberals yeah. changed it to when they realized it wasn't warming. Remember, it was global warming, and then all of a sudden there were decades of cool, global cooling, including the last 10 years. So yeah. the way they described that, the way they got around that little deal, let's call it something else. Let's yeah, and climate change. That's oh. why you can blame everything on it now. Right? What you're seeing is the last gasp of the green religion. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a sad thing to see when, when you're on current TV and your boss calls up and you have to agree with everything he says. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. it, um, it's unfortunate because it's also stunted the conversation about how do we diversify our energy sources and improve our transmission system so that we don't have the problems. And our energy you know, you, independence. You, you're starting to get me to question my own conclusion on this, so I'm going to wait for my Flat Earth Monthly uh, <laughs> newsletter to make a decision after I see yep. what Bob, uh, you uh, always say we're Flat Earth Society. That's well, all he's got. It's not nice. Well, what do you think? Isn't this basically a way to get government into your pocket? Yeah, but I think it's, in just, it's embarrassing because the facts aren't there to support it. And why the stretch? Like Dana said, why the gasp to try and survive? They've got like some kind of like life support trying to cling to this theory, but the meteorologist, anyone who's credible and can count, debunks it's, it. It's yeah. also a way to kill coal. Yeah. That is the goal. And if you're in Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, you ought to remember that. That this is this is the goal. And if you the need no more coal-fired power if plants. If Al Gore needs any more reason, it's he he absolutely makes a boatload of money off of yep. green yep. energy initiatives. It, to kill there's coal. an overwhelming you throw percentage throw more money of and throw international more money scientists who agree with global warming, uh, and that we've got one uh, of our news. Yeah, we just only have one.